Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So the live stream of unboxing something. One six scale discussion. Room tour. Bitch moan complain. Or whatever you want to call the show. So here we are. Sorry for being so late. I had to clear a path to the room. Um, it's got too many boxes in the way. How are y'all doing? Let's get this opened up. Where's the one for today? There we are. What did I say we were doing this morning? I didn't even think I changed it, did I? So you would have had to watch last week to know what we planned on doing this week, right? And I think I had decided that I was going to do the Punisher and the Fat Viking. Toy Mafia, how you doing, man? Matt, 2310, how's it going? Jake, how's it going, man? <laughs> uh, the um, R2-D2 with the broken mm, ocular on there, uh, I think I only paid 100 bucks for him, so I'm fine with it. I did buy a Dejaric chest, hollow chest, is that how you say it? The guy advertised that it was the exclusive version, and it's not. It's the regular standard version. That one's being sent back. Um, just these pieces here are the ones that I have some questions on. Um, I got a Vision. I got the uh, Winter Soldier, Captain America. I got the Ahella. I've got the um, Deadpool from X-Men Wolverine Origins. X-Men Origins Wolverine. That's a movie masterpiece, movie promo edition Spider-Man. So the one we're going for today is right, the Punisher. Wherever he ended up, over here. <clears throat> and Thor from Endgame, Fat Thor. Let's get with the Thor first. So I don't have any doubt in my mind that this is a new figure. It might be used. But I have a question about that Punisher. 2020 Miles suit looks awesome. 2020 Miles suit looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I ordered that. Uh... Interesting though, Sideshow is selling it for $290. Of course, they charge an exorbitant shipping rate of like $25 or something. Big Bad Toy Store is selling it for $304 or $309. And I'm like, how are they $20 more or something than Sideshow? It almost cancels out the price in the shipping and handling. Only one is available to purchase per customer at these sites. But a lot of other companies are selling them as well. Pretty darn expensive for a figure. I don't remember if I read that he lights up anywhere. But 300 bucks, it's a lot of money. I mean, hell, I remember when we were concerned about paying $300 for a die-cast Iron Man. In game cap looks great. Thank you, um, CBS. Mm -hmm. Sent me some photos on that. 
here's the box for the Fat Viking 1-6 action figure by Woo Toys. Nothing on the bottom. And there was a this fat figure uh, that came out recently, and pretty much, in my opinion, that's probably all they'd use was this. Some people were using that to make their happy, and there was a happy that was sold as well. It's probably the same figure they used for Ned. It's nice accessories here, video game console, some stickers to make some Coca-Cola bottles or some cans. Right there. Has some weight to it. It's nice to see a figure stand. Most of these places never include a figure stand and, and not like that's an issue, especially when it's just a regular figure stand. But it's nice to get something. And it's these. These are the ones that actually, um, almost every one of these that I have, they split. They split apart from the pressure of this exerting on this all the time. It just splits them right apart. So I don't use these often. Or if you see one, on, if, or if you happen to see one in my collection, it's probably taped up because the glue won't even hold it. When they announced this originally, they didn't show the head sculpt. So here's a beer can hand. So you had to pre order on Faith. These would be great for holding the um, video game controllers. Two fold up fists. Two sword hands. And truthfully, this really is just going to be your standard figure that they just put together to create Fat Thor. Whatever you want to call him. And that's fine. No problem with that. It's almost like you're paying someone to kit bash for you, right? So they may have made the sculpt. It's hard to say. I don't know. If you guys know whether or not the uh, they made the sculpt, I'd be interested to know that. not a bad likeness um i know who it's supposed to be and thor's packing he's anatomically correct So I suppose this would be my first anatomically correct male action figure. The legs are really loose. Um, they're not so loose that they're falling down. Okay. But I wouldn't feel too sure on standing him on his own. So nothing is falling, but there's not enough newness to it or stiffness in the joints to trust that he's going to stand there and walk away from him for a week or longer. I don't believe for one second he'll stay standing.
There's his head scope, guys. What do you think? Does that look like uh, Chris Hemsworth? I mean, I get it. I can see who I'm looking at. All right. There's no question about who it's supposed to be. But I'm not so certain that that exactly looks like Chris Hemsworth. What do you think? Trying to figure out who the eyes resemble. I'm not sure. Sideshow just released their ghost face figure. Ghost face figure. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. From Scream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's a whole genre of uh, one six scale figures in the um, horror line, if you will, with uh, Jason's and, and Mike Myers and, uh, is that his name? Freddy. So I suppose it would fit along with that. So he's got his little fingerless gloves here. The um, clothing is made out of, it's so stretchy material. This feels like a cloth, like a terry cloth. And this feels like a polyester stretch. And this feels almost canvassy. I don't know how, how accurate, I should have done my homework, the uh, patterns are. But I mean, it definitely comes to my mind. Little Crocs on his feet. And they will come off. These little fat toes. As far as things go, if you want a fat Thor in your collection, I can't imagine this being a loot. Um, something you would regret owning. I wish that uh, his buddies were here. I cannot remember their names. But you know they'll never be made. Never. We got a better chance of getting Thor, uh, Thanos' children to Black Order than we do getting his sidekicks that he met at, uh, what the hell is that name of that place that Jeff Goldblum ran? Hell, we don't even have a Jeff Goldblum figure. It's figures we won't ever get. Or like that ghost, whatever it was from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Or Yellow Jacket. I mean, there's several key characters we will never see, ever. Because in the one six scale size, and there's only so many, there's only so many figures that a company can make in, in, a, in a year. And there's only so many figures we can afford to buy at a time, too. Yeah, there's no way he's standing up on his own. I can't get his joints to cooperate and stay in any one place long enough that I'm pleased with it, that I, that I feel that he will just stay there. He's not going to stay. I'll get him a different uh, figure base to stand in. But this will be great for now. Mantis has been standing there this entire time. She hasn't moved an inch. 
entire week right there. Bison body connected to the uh, boots that came with the, who made that? Super Duck. Super Duck. Super Duck boots. So that's the difference between a figure I have faith in standing and a, and a figure I don't have faith in standing. She hasn't moved. She is 100% standing there. Just as she was left. Martin, how's it going, man? Let's have a look at these. Heineken. So Heineken bottles. Coca-Cola cans. Was it a PlayStation he was playing? Now where's his glasses? The likeness that they use on the boxes of his glasses and then they didn't include them. Isn't that interesting? You would have thought they would use a different likeness, like for instance here. They could have put that on the front, but they put the glasses on the front, making me think there's going to be glasses. I don't see any glasses. Is it a big deal? No. Not at all. Now, what in the world is this? This is in the bag. I don't know what it is. Do you guys know what this is supposed to be? Or its purpose? I just folded it the other way it was... It was folded the other direction where that was on the inside. Do you have any idea what that is? Did a pretty good job with this console controller. You even have the uh, the square triangle circle and X. Pretty neat. These uh, Coke cans are solid. They're heavy. They're heavy. The Heineken bottles. I have watched WandaVision. I watched episodes one through five. Um, I watched the episode all the way up to the, when it ended with the recast of a figure that totally blew my mind. Um, I actually had to spend probably 30 minutes explaining to my wife what we had just witnessed. And it was pretty interesting. If you've not watched WandaVision, you need to check it out. I'm not going to ruin it for you. Please watch WandaVision somehow. Somehow get a hold of the Disney Plus and plug into WandaVision and watch that. Um, the first two episodes are good. I think it's the third episode that kind of drags because it's kind of the backstory. And nobody really cares about the backstory, but you have to know the backstory. It's like episode one in Star Wars, The Phantom Menace or whatever it was, you know. Uh, four, five, and six were the best ones. And episode one was, oh, this is kind of lame. Same thing. You have to get through it to get through it you know what i mean but uh um i haven't watched episode six i think is where i'm at and then i think the new one comes out this weekend or is out probably this weekend don't know but i'm um, really enjoying it a lot um but yeah the big reveal holy cow the recast all right and that they called it 
Um, very interesting. Um, I do want to talk about that, but I want to give it a few weeks before we discuss that in case any of you have not seen it. Um, since it's not like going to the movies, normally I say let's give a, the movie a, a, a one-week hiatus. If you haven't seen the movie in a week, you know, you're not a real fan, more or less. But Disney Plus is a little different because it does require a subscription service and does require some type of a device to, in order to watch it, whether it's a cell phone or your computer or a Roku or something. So I don't want to talk about it until everyone's had an opportunity to watch it. But I certainly want to talk about it. So let's give a hiatus to that. Let's give a hiatus until... Does anybody know how many episodes it's supposed to be? Is it an eight-episode series like they did with The Mandalorian? Because <clears throat> I really don't want to talk about this until everyone's had a chance to see it. I don't think it's fair. Because that recasting was pretty cool. And I can't wait to see it next week on how that goes. Which it actually would have been last week. Because I think I'm two episodes behind now. Nine, nine episodes. So I think we're on seven, correct? So let's give it, uh, we'll, we, we can't talk about it until two weeks after the last episode, okay? Let's do that. Let's make a hiatus where we won't talk about the show because of spoilers. We'll talk about the show. We'll encourage each other to, to watch it if you feel that way, or you can say you don't like it. Whatever your opinion is, you're welcome to share it. No spoilers, though, until two weeks after that last episode airs. If you've not seen it by then, if you've not made an effort to download it or whatever by two weeks after the last episode airs, screw you. We're going to talk all about it. We're going to talk about the spoilers. We're going to talk about everything that made us angry or shocked us or we enjoyed. Uh, but let's do that. I think that's fair enough. And only because, like I said, it's a subscription service. And some of y'all might not had have had an opportunity to you know, take advantage of that. But... <clears throat> I think that's fair enough. I think that's fair enough. So, but yeah, I have watched it and I've enjoyed it. And like I said, I think it's the third episode, maybe the fourth episode. I don't remember which one. Whichever one was the backstory, in my opinion, was the most painful one. And it, it's one thing I think is interesting is when they were making Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., when they first made Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, the opinion from the Marvel Cinematic Universe was that the actions in the movies will affect the Marvel television shows, but the actions in the television shows won't necessarily affect the sequence of events or, or uh, the uh, situations in the, in, the, in the universe, the cinematic universe. So essentially they were saying the cinematic universe is where we're putting all our bread and butter, and the television show may or may not be recognized at all. So they were continually talking about the Battle of New York in the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And, um, but they weren't necessarily saying at that point that anything that happened in the TV shows was going to affect the movies. Well, now I'm pretty sure that WandaVision is 100% affecting the entire shoot and match of everything of the Marvel, of Earth-199999, which used to be called affectionately the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I don't think we can call it that anymore <clears throat> with WandaVision specifically being um, what it is, which is a huge um, contributor to the entire thing. If that makes any sense at all to you right now. Coca-Cola cans. Coca-Cola is like the number one beverage in the entire world. find Coca-Cola everywhere. So they gave me three Coca-Cola stickers, my two Heinekens.
what's nice about third party toys like this or unlicensed figures, they can do stuff like this. They don't give a damn. They ain't paying licensing fees to anybody. They care if it says Heineken on it. Whereas Hot Toys make Quicksilver's shoes from Age of Ultron and they can't put the logo on it because they didn't have that license cleared up. You know? For some reason, they couldn't come to an agreement to actually put the uh, stripes on the shoe or whatever it was that uh, Quicksilver's shoe was lacking compared to the real ones. This is laughable. Totally laughable. I think there was somebody that was selling the stickers at the time that you could apply them. Might be able to do it yourself. A little adhesive paper in your printer. Oh, come on, I can't get this one straight. The guy at the Heineken bottling plant was having a bad day the day he labeled this one. But there we go. Um, don't know how these stickers are going to stay on here. They don't seem to want to stay on there. Maybe that's what this is for. Keep them on there. Yeah, how much? How, they don't seem to be very long in the first place. Each episode seems to be like 30 minutes or something. They're really short. I don't even know if they're 45 minutes long. I think they've done a really good job of it, with it. So that's Thor. And if you guys have any idea what this is, please let me know. For real, I have no idea. Kid you not. Is this supposed to be like a Fitbit or something he wears on his wrist? I don't know. I do not know. The thing that looks like, oh yeah. No, I'm not buying that. You think it's a time travel device? No, I don't think so. It might be, but I'm not buying it. But I surely don't have any other explanation for it. So I guess at this point, it must be the time traveling device because we have no other contrary evidence otherwise, right? All right, Fat Thor, welcome to the collection. We'll get you in a spot sometime in the next year. <laughs> What was my deal with this? Was I thinking that it was a, a fake in regards to being brand new? Is that what my original thought was on this? Does it appear to have been opened? Is that why I have him down here? I got this figure originally, but I just things were just not on my side at the time. Is this the same card that they use for Daredevil? Exactly 
side by side comparison, looking at it from a distance. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not the same card. It'd be nice if they'd been like a continuation. Pose them next to each other. Sometimes these cards are cool, sometimes they're not. Never quite understood the... Uh, the design of how they're supposed to be standing up, it kind of slips me. Because in all actuality, when you put this together and you have it folded forward like that, and you have your figure base here, there's nothing here. It just gives depth. Most of the figures don't have this much of anything behind them, especially with the figure base right here. And then you have your stand, and the figure stands like here. So I don't know why they felt it necessary to make it such depth to it. Um, it just seems like a lot of depth for no reason. I don't understand why maybe they didn't flip it the other way. So you could have perhaps the card, your figure stand, base underneath here some or something. I don't know. I just don't understand the, the true meaning that it's done in this manner. I don't. And it's taller than what a Detoff would be or whatever because it ends up being like yay tall. So it's taller than that. There he is, Netflix, Netflix Daredevil, uh, excuse me, Netflix Punisher, and uh, started watching Daredevil, didn't watch all the Daredevil, started watching the Punisher, and uh, this must be from his appearance in Daredevil, because I've certainly never seen him like this in the Punisher. Now, I didn't watch either of, either of those series through completion, mostly because my... Wife controls the TV, and uh, that's where she lives, is in the living room now. And um, the shows are just too, they're not illuminated well. She needs to be able to see them, and she can't see them, they're not illuminated well. Yeah, so this was one that I, I, I felt was a... Uh, literally been opened and gone through and the advertisement was brand spanking new never displayed and uh, i felt a level of deception on this so i wanted to go through this with a fine tooth comb and that's why we're opening him up because obviously i could tell that uh he'd been removed from his package and i i've justified that in a collector doing that because these are only warranted by the original purchaser okay so if you buy it from anybody else even though it's brand spanking new in a box never been opened up if there's an issue with it you can't contact sideshow or whomever it was that you bought it from brand new and uh, and be and be guaranteed that they will honor um, replacing it or anything in that regards. So, but by golly, if they'd opened it, it better be perfect. Because otherwise, what in the world are they inspecting it for? And then they're gonna sell you some busted junk instead of sending it back, All right? And I really like this head sculpt. They really brought Frank Castle to life with this 
series. There's been um, many Punishers on the screen, many Frank Castles, and one thing about the Punisher comics, again, it's not one that I read. Um, I read Spider-Man and only came across these other characters whenever they would be a crossover. But one thing that they would do with Punisher is they kept him current to what was going on at the time. So I think originally Frank Castle's story was Vietnam vet come back and his family was killed by mobsters or something. And then they would just continually keep him updated. They would update his story to keep him current with whatever was going on in the world. I don't know what his current story is or what this Netflix Frank Castle story is as to why he decides to become the Punisher. But it's the same story. You know, good guy pushed too far by the loss of family members or loved ones and decides to exact his form of justice, his punishment, on those that deserve it. He's an anti-hero in that regards. Daredevil, same thing. He's working outside of the law, unlike Spider-Man, who's truthfully by the letter of the law working outside of the law because he's a vigilante. He is truly trying to be a good guy. He really doesn't want to hurt anybody. He doesn't want to kill anybody. He wants to turn you over to the police to let the right authorities take care of you. Punisher and Daredevil, they've decided that uh, the system has failed them or something to that effect, and they're taking the law into their own hands. So they're a good guy in their interpretation of things. And that's why they're called anti-heroes. I think they could have done a better job on that uh, matchup there. I mean, come on. This is uh, the toy company making this. I would have thought that the skin tones would have matched better. So that's kind of poor. It's almost like they're just like, go grab that body over there. The one we used for Tony Stark. Put a Frank... Castle head sculpt on it. And slap a $300 price sticker on it. You mean these bodies over here we crank out all day long for a buck a piece? Yeah, those right there. I'm going to tell you right now that these knees are going to be a problem. That's a fact. So you're definitely going to want to use a figure base with him. They give you the articulation. They did a pretty good job with the boots on this. They can move quite well and still appear to be boots. It's two different pieces there. It blends pretty seamless. So you get great articulation in that manner. Um, because he's jointed, you don't have to worry about not being able to pose him. So you can put him into a non museum pose or whatever. You can actually pose him because there's no nothing's going to break down in regards to that everything here is jointed um i like seamless figures as such 
I'm curious, maybe if you had a uh, a Thor from Infinity Ward that has the two arms, the sleeved arm and, and the sleeveless arm, if they were interchangeable on this figure, that would be interesting because I think they're seamless. If you're that concerned with the seam, it's interesting. Don't know how much work that would be, but it might be something worth looking into if the seams bother you. If you want to go with a seamless character, I'm wondering if the, the Thor seamless arms would go on there because you get an extra set of arms with that figure. You get the sleeved arms and you get the sleeveless arms. Stands on his own, no problem. But like I said, these knees are going to be an issue. I guarantee you on that. Comes with a ton of accessories. We get this freaking cannon here. Holy smokes. Um... I don't know what it looks like in real life. I uh, would have thought there would have been a little more something on here detailing it other than what it is. I see a little red button for the trigger right here on the very end. I see a little steel marking on this cylinder. But I would have thought there would have been something other than this, just, this being entirely just black. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's how it actually really is, just entirely black. Folding stock bolt action rifle. The bolt action can be slid. Pretty neat. And the magazine can be removed with the rifle rounds inside of it. So if you are 3D animator, stop motion, movie maker, you can have him trigger and lock and load, right? The scope can be adjusted on the rail. So that's pretty cool. Your firearms collector in one six scale. A lot of great firearms uh, these manufacturers make for these figures. If you're a firearm guy, my goodness. Serious revolver here. Eight shot. The um, cylinder can be swung out of it. So in theory, he could drop his shells, his rounds out of it, his expelled shells to reload it again if you're a stop motion animator guy or gal. Don't know what caliber this is. Or even what firearm this is supposed to be. We have a uh, 
So it's called a K-bar. Leather handled knife. What they didn't put on it, which is on these specific knives, is a, a serrated back. They didn't put a serrated back on that. It's interesting. Maybe they make them without a serrated back. I've never seen one that didn't have a serrated back. We have a sheath for the knife. It'll go on onto a belt. The magnet holds the strap onto the knife um, handle. And we have Daredevil's helmet with a crack in it. The crack doesn't go all the way through. Next set of wrist pegs. Uh, let's see what we have here. Buttons. Whole lot of little buttons. And then we have Jeez. We have two fists. Do we have two fists? Two clenched fists. To holding thing fists for his knife pistol grip rifle grip trigger finger for left hand trigger finger for right hand to grasping hands or reaching or extending hands and then to relax hands that are on the figure And we get a belt for this beast. I don't see where it feeds onto it. I'm sure an instruction manual will tell us. I would expect to see a slot. There we go. We'll slot right there in the bottom. <clears throat> I think we've got time to open up another figure, too. So it says Daredevil. It's interesting. I wonder why they wouldn't say the Punisher. I mean, wouldn't that make sense? On the Daredevil one, you actually have like a uh, another piece that came with it. I think it went on the side to reflect like a uh, a street, like a 
it's like a gutter or something or a curb or something that came with it. When we get his coat. This is cool. I'm pleased with the figure. It doesn't appear to be damaged from what I've noticed. This looks to be the same jacket that uh, Nick Fury wore. No, different jacket. This jacket looks familiar to me, though. Somewhere I think I've seen this. Maybe not. Has a wire in the base of it. So you can bend it to get effects of wind blowing or even to keep it open. So you can see the front of him or to close it up tight, which is nice. So the wires at the bottom. Not gonna put him on, put it on him yet. Uh, I want to figure out how I'm gonna pose him, and we'll go in that direction. But here's the jacket. And the inside of the jacket. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. He's a grail of mine. I'm very pleased to get him. Let me get this um, figure stand holder. Very pleased with this. If there's something you guys want to see me open next, call her out now, um, and I will get it. If there's something here you've seen me get. You watched last week's show, and uh, you know what we have. Give a shout out to what you want me to get next out of the box. I think I have some written down here. I think I was wanting to open up Spider-Man 3 next, but um, I'm game. You all want to see something specifically. I'm pleased with this. Very pleased. TMS004. Television Masterpiece Series. Punisher. Let's see who made the sculpt. Head art director JC Hong. Head painter JC Hong. Head sculptor So Young Lee. I love So Young Lee's work. Of course, J.C. Ong is the master. Good old cock and tit and Monster Jr. Goblin or Loki. Let's do the Goblin. That was uh, PE006. Seven. You're talking about the Fiend, right?
the six or seven? It's the seven, right? Six is Doc Ock, and the seven is the Fiend, right? All right? Yeah. Got the two boxes. Game of that. Game with that. Where's the instruction manual for the Punisher? How did I miss that? I used to keep the instruction manuals inside the boxes until one day I had to go through digging through all the boxes to find the instruction manual to figure out which batteries go into the Iron Man figure. I do not keep them in the boxes anymore. They get filed. So that I may reference them for accessories or batteries or how to open one up. do here is I want to see how uh, this belt feeds onto this weapon. See if it tells us in here. So it does show you how to properly place the coat on the figure, in case you're curious. Pop the hands off, bend the shoulders back, slide it that way. And it says that the chain, the belt, feeds into the weapon on the side. see that daredevil helmet is not wearable to any head sculpt please do not try to wear it onto the head sculpt as it may damage the figure and then of course it shows how to uh, retract that bolt on that rifle and fold the stock so let's get back here and look at this Is it a belt? Is that what they call this? It's called a belt, right? So I've done you hold the firearm in this manner. As such. So I was holding it upside down by doing it like this. It's held like this. And there's this little area here that they claim that this goes into, according to this photograph. So I'm going to try to put it in there as illustrated. I don't see it.
Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so there's two little knobbies right underneath this uh, piece. So there's two little posts right there. And on this side, there's two little holes. So insert tab A into slot B. And there you have the belt into the weapon. Wherever this goes, I don't know where it would go. But there you have it. Let's open box A1 first, right? Or you could be a non-conformist and open box A2 first. The Fiend. Toys Era. PE stands for premium edition. Um, with cable, they made a TE, which stands for Toys Era, and a PE, which the, had the, the head scope of the light up eye. And I was extremely disappointed with that eye. Tried to modify it, couldn't get it to work any better than what they had done. Um, and we'll never light the eye up. Uh, looks like UPS really hooked up this box here for whomever. It's all dented up on it there. And outside the box, we have some artwork of the goblin. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of uh, etched into there. And it says the fiend. Right there, top and bottom, nothing on the sides. And just a bunch of warnings and information on the back. Uh, hmm. So he's rubbery. Um, hmm. I am uh, not too impressed with this material. Um, feels like a fishing lure. If you've ever gone fishing or if you've ever felt one of those little rubber fishing lures. And um, I've never seen any one of those last long. And the whole thing feels like it's manufactured out of that. Except for some of the armored pieces they're harder plastic so the front is uh, this harder plastic the shoulders bicep back of the forearm and the hands are all harder plastic but other than that the entire figure is covered in this um rubberish 
plastic that feels just like a uh, fishing lure. Um, so I'm a little scared of that. I really am. I'm really scared of that, actually. Multi-ratcheted joints. Don't know who made the body for them. Um, boots look pretty cool. And the head sculpt looks pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool looking figure. I don't know how accurate the coloring is on him. I expected him to be a little more greenish instead of so much lime colored. It's just my mind. Nothing to base that off of, just an opinion. See all this extra material down here at his feet? It kind of bothers me. Figure wants to stand up. So is this William Defoe's character from uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? Is that who this is? So those are kind of relaxed, grasping hands, if you will. Get the lobster claw. The little hands are, I try to pull them out of the styrofoam. They're, they're running from me, literally. I want to flip them out like I was doing the furniture there. escaped onto the floor. So we get these two hands and we get two fists. I get two pumpkin bombs. The rest of this box contains interestingly outfitted figure base. I suppose that's going to be for the glider. I like the color on that. It says The Fiend. And then we get this crotch grabber. And We get these. So this is a really tall, standard, articulated pole, and I love the really tall ones for uh, some figures, like I need to have them above the rest. This is a, this appears to be some sort of um, additional stand. So you would screw this into one, and then this goes into the bottom of something else. So we'll figure out what that is here in a moment, I'm sure. Let's 
get to the other box. No fancy box with this one, just straight into the foam. Just straight into the foam. I keep feeling like I have something in my nose. That's what I keep doing. It's what the hell. Okay, this looks pretty cool right off the bat. Not taking it out of the package yet. Uh, it looks really cool. Um, yeah, this looks really cool. This may end up getting a really good position of a piece of honor. Um, in the display because of this glider. I'm sorry, I don't remember if this is from the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Oh my God. Look at this, guys. So, Jazz Inc., Just Ethnic, has been making um, one six scale accessory dioramas, etc., and he's got the uh, vulture that he's been cranking out. I bought the land speeder, and I was really disappointed with that, so I didn't move forward with the vulture. This is what I expected in the land speeder, something manufactured out of plastic. I didn't expect a, a giant, huge resin heavy piece and I'm kind of concerned after getting the land speeder that the uh, the vultures rig would be manufactured in the same manner instead of out of plastic like this is and this is what I want so now if and I don't know if juice manufactures his vulture out of this type of material then score but obviously you know somebody's willing to do this and uh, I am quite impressed with this, uh, just on initial examination of it. This is uh, Aces, just looking at it, taking it out of the box, not playing with it. Um, I didn't expect this. Golly, I swear there's a hair in there. It's tickling me. Now we know what this is for. And for fact, he's going to be displayed on this. I can tell you that much. I know that goes in there. Why isn't it turning? There we go. Pardon me. What I'll probably end up doing instead of posing him on this is um, I don't know. I might use one of the diamond bases that I have. I suppose the reason there's two of these holes here, because I didn't want to screw into that one, is. Because you probably don't want to trust your figure just standing on this. 
Um, so more than likely, you're going to want to uh, use this and yeah definitely this one goes on on one side and this one goes on the other no doubt about that two different holes they look the same why couldn't I screw this in originally? There it goes. Doesn't matter, interchangeable. But no, I have a feeling that they uh, decided they probably shouldn't be expecting the weight of this to hold your figure. I have a feeling that that was why they uh, may have done it in this manner. So that this can support your figure. So he has little holes in the bottom of his feet that fit into little pegs on top of this. Fold down to that and up to this so it doesn't hold up very well, kind of loose. Each of these pistons actually move inside of there. Blue and black wire came out of that. Simply glued back in. I imagine you won't be playing with your figure as much as I do in these little um, videos that I make. So you probably won't even have that problem. Easily remedied with glue. Take care of that very quickly. A lot of articulation there in that foot pedal. So you should be able to pose this quite nicely once you get them positioned into this rig. And I can guarantee you, Hot Toys won't be making one of these for us. You know, they'll build themselves a TIE Fighter or the Millennium Falcon, but we'll never see this. We'll never see the Vulture from Hot Toys. We'll never see the Rhino. Remember him? You gotta remember him, do you? Hot Toys teased us with that. This looks pretty amazing, guys, I have to admit. I 
I have to admit, this is worth every penny, in my opinion. Save on Mason, where are you? This is your guy. Save on Mason is a villains collector, and I can't believe for one second that he hasn't either ordered this or even received it. Um, because this guy is a straight up villain. Whether it's Norm or Nor Harry piloting the uh, the Green Goblin. But because of the articulated foot stands here, you should be able to get him into a pretty good uh, crouching pose or something. Isn't that how we normally see him? Isn't he normally like crouched in this, um, in his glider? It's not one of his hands to the floor again. But with, with a careful consideration to your articulations and the move, movement of the figure, I believe you can probably get him into a pretty good position here. I'm excited about this guy. I'm a Spider-Man fan first off. in his hand yeah I think for real you can get some pretty good poses out of this um, I'm not thrilled with the suit in the first place um, I don't know how much bending you want to do with them but this is the same material that I mean I've pulled fishing lures out of places and they're just all stuck together so I can't tell you what to expect out of this I'm not uh, not too pleased with their choice of material for this figure. Really pleased with the glider. It looks amazing. And I mean, you see he's, he's, he's standing there just putting them up in just a few quick seconds. He's big, he's a presence. Um, golly. Golly. I'm really impressed with this. Really. Really impressed. Save on. I'm not going down the third party rabbit hole, dude. This is you, man. This is you all over the place. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if you're a villain collector, I, I can't imagine why you wouldn't want this. He looks amazing. He looks amazing. Like I said, the only problem I have is this suit, and it's a, it's a fear of mine. A real genuine fear, I believe. Loki, where's Loki? Have I got time to do a Loki? Possibly. Drax.
want to open this up. Deadpool X-Men Origins. X-Men Wolverine Origins. I love Deadpool. I like this box. Pretty clever. This black band on it actually is three-dimensional over it. That's pretty cool. The Fiend, man. I'm telling you. The Fiend. You'll regret not getting him. You'll regret it. You're going to regret it. I don't even know how much he was. So the Deadpool we need, Deadpool we need is the one without his mouth, right? The embarrassment Deadpool, the, the creation Deadpool, whatever the hell that was. The one that Ryan Reynolds killed. The Deadpool killed at the end of uh, Deadpool 2. Remember that? And shot Ryan Reynolds as he was reading the uh, script to uh, Green Lantern. Neat little things in here. Nice katanas. Nothing else in here. Hot Toys came like this at one point. Two thousand sixteen Hot Heart Limited, all rights reserved, number four bridge, Hot Heart FD zero zero three. Is that really this old? Doesn't exactly look like him. I think I've got a Ryan Reynolds head sculpt here someplace. He looks like as I remember him from the movie. Never heard of this company. So I guess they didn't continue on making such. Let's 
She's got a knife. Well, that's not a knife. Too big for the sheath. Trying to take the magazine out of the firearm. There we go. Can't pull the slide back any further than that. And here's the magazine, the round in it. And this holster is huge for this firearm. I don't remember from the movie if this is the holster they had this firearm in. Boots look pretty cool. And they're articulated. Canvas, which is nice. Everyone else makes this plastic. That's a canvas, so that's cool. Blast out pants. Again, I, from my memory, he looks like he's supposed to look. He'll definitely be a welcome addition to the Deadpool shelf, for a fact. So we have uh, two fists that he's, he has right here. We have... Hmm. Two sword-holding hands, or whatever. Two relaxed hands. And two trigger finger hands. We also have a set of dog tags. A small little figure base. I don't remember ever seeing one this small. It says Wade Wilson on it. Two pretty cool katanas. I don't know how accurate they are to the movie, if they're designed properly, in comparison to how they were in the movie. The sheath has some um, designs on it. Metal. They feel metal, at least. It could be plastic. But they feel cold like metal would be. And we have a uh, a sheath that is a do-it-yourself or you're going to have to put it together to go on his back, wrap it over his shoulders and around his waist to get it onto him there. It's going to be fun. We got to just pull this around and then thread him through the buckle on there. Something you're gonna have to do yourself.
and the uh, the katanas are really loose in the hand. So I don't know how well they'll stay in there through time. They slide into the sheath. Well, it's interesting that they have that bare metal portion of it showing through. Don't again. I don't remember from the movie if they were like that. Maybe that was so he didn't have to pull them all the way out to unsheath them, as he would pull them out. I don't know. I don't remember. Sorry. But it's Deadpool, and it can't go wrong with Deadpool as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> Say, I almost had an Iron Monger for a good price. How much was the price? I can't imagine those guys going for cheap. And I've never seen one that didn't have a uh, uh, cracked hips, by the way. So when you get yours, should you ever find one, just know that uh, his hips are going to be cracked. Oh, come on now. Don't bang into your glider. You'll knock them off the. You'll knock them off. But even through all that, he, he wanted to stay on the glider. He really did. And no, I don't believe for one second that Hot Toys will ever make one of these. So. Like cable, they did make a cable, or are planning on making a cable, or have taken pre-orders for a cable. Come on. Come on, Norman, get with the program. So with Ned Leeds being um, in the uh, Spider-Man universe, cinematic universe, whatever you want to call it, I'm looking forward to a, a Hobgoblin, right? That would be great. This last week, I have been going hard trying to buy Ironmonger. I started talking to a guy who did not want to tell me his price. Basically, he didn't want to sell. But if I were to offer him a crazy price, dude, every one of these figures is for sale for a crazy price. I'll tell you that much. He uh, would. I'm not trying to buy a fig from someone that does... I'm trying to buy a figure for someone who does what? Not want to sell. I don't want to sell any of my figures. But for a crazy price, I would. I've had to sell some of my figures in the past, and I've regretted doing that. Um, I've had to then track them back down. The one figure I haven't tracked back down is the Mark III Secret Project. Um, I tend to get one of those back in my collection. I had a perfect one, and I pray that the one I track down and buy again is as perfect um, and um, I like referring to the Mark III secret project when 
whenever somebody makes a crazy remark that the reason Hot Toys re-released the Mark 47 Iron Man suit was because they like you so much and were concerned that scalpers were costing you money. If that's the case, because the Mark 47 was selling for about 800 bucks uh, when it sold out and people started wanting to buy them. Why didn't uh, Hot Toys re-release the Mark III Secret Project, which fetches a $2,000 price tag all day long, all day long. If you want to buy one of those, they're $2,000. And no, it didn't cost you $2,000 originally. It was under 200 bucks. So, Hot Toys loves you so much, where's the Mark III Secret Project? Plastic figure. Easy to recreate. I know they got the molds someplace. Gray paint. One shade. Entire thing. I like the Mark IV gunmetal, which is several shades of gray. The Mark III Secret Project. One shade of gray. They didn't come with any accessories like the glasses that the Mark IV Secret Project uh, gunmetal comes with. The Mark IV comes with the black and gray painted glasses, which is a little bit of effort. And it sells for like 700 bucks, I think. Little Mark IV gunmetal. If they ain't making that one, then they ain't making either one of them in die cast in that manner, the secret project or gunmetal. So, no, I don't believe for one second they re released the Mark 47 because they love you. And the only reason I can imagine that they re released Whiplash Mark I was to coincide to the Mark V die cast, which was. Uh, um, is an amazing piece, and I have no idea why the hell they re-released that Mark V diecast. That just doesn't make any sense. It's gotta be a money grab. It's gotta be. This is probably one of my favorite pieces, Mark V diecast. Mark 21 chrome, Midas, plastic. It's my favorite, absolute favorite. And then I would say probably the Mark V diecast, number two. Then I would probably say Mark 21 diecast, number three. That'd be fair to say. Then possibly the Mark 47 or 48, or I mean uh, 46, same figure, 46, 47, same figure, either one of those because of all the lights on them, easily. So the top ones are, my opinion, Mark 21 chrome plastic, Limited edition Shanghai release Mark 21. Um, Mark 5 die cast. Mark 21 die cast. Mark 47 or 46. Either one of those. What would be the fifth one? I don't know. I don't know what my fifth favorite is. I'll have to think about that. But that's my top four figures. Easily. Easily. Mark 21 Chrome, number one. Plastic figure. Easily. Ironmonger was $600 brand new, sealed in the box. I think the deal's falling, falling through. Throw me an extra 50 bucks, dude. If it's brand new, sealed in the box, $600. You can't go wrong. I, I, I really have a hard time believing they will ever remake that figure. He's a beast in the first place. Um, and uh, he's designed well, but they all have the broken thigh. Uh, if you watch my video, I point out exactly where it is. Um, they're all cracked up. I guarantee you yours in the box is going to be broken that way. Um, but I wouldn't let him go. If you got the money, I'd get all over it. I'd get all over it. I don't I don't think, I mean, I may be wrong, but I don't think there's going to be another one coming down the pipe. I mean, I totally could be wrong. But I don't think so. I don't think there's another one coming. If you want him, get on him. You'll love him. He's big. He's a, uh, he's a centerpiece. No doubt about it. For fact. He is a centerpiece. I've got him up against my Mark III diecast. 
Uh, it looks great. And then, of course, I used the head sculpt that comes with it to make an Obadiah figure as well. Because you can crack them open, you know, and show the head sculpt inside there. And I took the head sculpt and put it on a suit, and now I have an Obadiah as well. So I, I don't think $600 is asking too much. Especially if it's brand new sealed in box. I would, uh, I'd jump on it. I wouldn't bicker. I'm just saying, it's not me selling it. And I wouldn't get rid of my Ironmonger. Nah, yeah, he's what he would be one of the last ones I'll get rid of. He doesn't rank as any of my top figures, um, but he's just a unique figure that I doubt I'd be able to track down. You never see them come up for sale. You know what I mean? He's definitely one that, uh, if he's up for sale and you've been looking for one, I'd get it. He just doesn't come up for sale. I mean, he's been out of production for eight years, maybe? A long time. He's an old figure. So, that's from Iron Man 1, the first Iron Man. Not even Iron Man 2, where the Mark V and Whiplash and all that are being remade again from. And I don't know if they'll re-release the work Whiplash Mark II. That was a die cast. They did re-release the Whiplash Mark I. And I don't know why. And like I said, the only thing I can imagine is that they wanted people to have an opportunity to have a bad guy to pose up against Iron Man Mark V. You know, because in my opinion, you have to have a bad guy to go with the good guys. Which is why I don't understand why we don't have a Yellow Jacket or the Ghost or Man Man and a Wasp. Whatever that character's name was. I don't remember what her name was. Plus, I don't understand why we don't have the... Uh, um, what's her name? Tessa? From Thor Ragnarok? The, uh, the soldiers that rode the Pegasus? I don't know why we don't have her. And in either one of the renditions, they, they showed us a rendition of her that they were making, and I think they should have released her in her suit of armor... And we don't have either one of those. There's a lot of figures that they need to be cranking out that they've just never done. And I don't understand why they won't get with the program. It just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So uh, I'm thinking next week, what I've gotten here on my sheet is I'll be doing Spider-Man 3. I'm guessing it's the red and blue suit that I've written down here. Uh, and the Black Widow from Winter Soldier. It's a couple of old figures. I've got also on here the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man that I wanted to open up. So it's quite possible that I'll do all three of those next week. Like I did four today out of just running out of not having exhausted all my time and these figures being easy to go through. We went through the Fat Viking. We went through Netflix Punisher. Wade Wilson from X-Men Origins Wolverine, I believe. And Green Goblin fiend he's a beast i really like i'm telling you man i'm telling you if if you're a spider-man fan okay um you're gonna regret not getting this guy and i'm wondering if i'm gonna regret not putting some money down onto uh the vulture from jazz inc I'm really wondering if I'm going to regret that. But uh, this is pretty impressive. I'm really, really stoked about this. Um, Jeez. And no, I'm not getting, I don't get sponsored by anybody. So nobody sends me my figures for free. I don't get, I don't get paid. To review figures. This is just my own personal collection. Shit that I've spent money on. So I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you a pretty honest review. You still have the time to get the vulture. He got pushed back to November 2021. I mean, what are your thoughts on him? Okay, first off, I guarantee you're getting him, right? When you're just sitting there telling me that you're not gonna fall into the rabbit hole. Don't tell me you haven't got the vulture save on me song. I know you did. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on him? I mean, when I'm watching him, I'm, I'm like kind of disappointed in the whole process. I'm really skeptical. What are your thoughts on him? 
did you did you get him or did you pass on him? I'm gonna wrap this up here in a couple of minutes. I think I've kept you guys long enough. And I appreciate every one of you coming by. I love every one of you guys. If you wish to produce the show, if you want to send me a tip, just like your waitress or your barkeep who brings you your beer, you give her a dollar or five. You want to shoot a dollar my way? www.patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash S I R I E M E R A L D. Got nothing to give you for that. Literally, it's a tip, um, but it would really be great to receive it. I get 77 cents of every one dollar that is contributed to me and that is a wonderful donation thank you for those of you that are patreon supporters i love you guys thank you very much so if you wish to help out the show you're welcome to do that like subscribe thumbs up all of that helps the uh the channel helps the videos and uh i'll be here next week it looks like i've got planned to unbox spider-man 3 and a black widow and possibly the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man. That's what I have down here. Uh, uh, next time, baby. Jake, love the show today. Thank you. Yes, next week. He looks good. I passed. Then he got pushed back. Now I'll probably get him. Dude, I'm telling you. Dude, I'm telling you. You're going to want this right here. So... I will catch you all next week. Peace. As Deadpool takes a dive.